high. Margie, a new drinking trend is sweeping college campuses, and you could see more of it over spring break. It's also making its way onto social media. Borg, also known as Blackout Rage Gallon. Well, it's the new rage. Joining us this morning is Dr. Amy Hilmer to talk more about the craze that's making its way into social media and into the lives of underage drinkers. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think when you hear that acronym? Wow, that's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, thank you for having me today. Thank you for being yeah, there. I'm excited to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been a trend for the past couple of years on college campuses, and now it's making its way, unfortunately, to younger adolescent kids who want to drink. And so, as the name implies, I think that the biggest challenge is that really it encourages binge drinking. And when you say binge drinking, some might think this is alcohol abuse. Yeah. Yeah, so let's differentiate that a little bit. Okay. So when I think of binge drinking, I use the definition from the National Institute of Alcohol and Alcoholism, which is essentially drinking to get drunk, and they define it as for women, four drinks over two hours, and for men, five or more drinks over two hours. I'd be interested to see how many people really follow that guideline, right? Especially when you see this one, but there's some people who are saying on social media that this is a more efficient and safer way to get drunk. When you hear that as a doctor and a parent of teenagers, yeah. what do you think? Well, so I think a couple things. The first thing is Borg consists of half a gallon of water and then the other half is hard liquor. Generally, that's vodka and that's about 17 shots of vodka. Woo. So think of that, 17 shots. And it includes also some flavoring, which has some caffeine and then some electrolytes in it. So as you know, caffeine's a stimulant, so it's gonna allow you to not feel the effects of the alcohol. So often the effect is that people end up drinking more alcohol. And so that's a lot. That's way over the binge drinking limits that I think of as an addiction provider. 17 shots, is a, that's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, it's way too much. Well, some people are saying, and it depends on when you grew up and when you went to college, they had like jungle juice and had a huge tub where you're just pouring a bunch of alcohol into it. Some people are saying this is a safer, more efficient way, as I mentioned, but is it really? Because you're, you're skipping, I guess, the things that could be added to it, but it's yeah. kind of scary. Well, so let me address that a little bit. So in addiction world, we think of harm reduction, which is a way to mitigate risk. Mm -hmm. And so that's a real thing. So for example, if somebody is going to drink, they should have a designated driver. They should never drive intoxicated. So that's a perfect example of harm reduction. There are elements of this that in the right hands could be used as harm reduction. So if a, a, an adolescent chooses to add less than 17 shots mm -hmm. and have a very diluted gallon, then that might be something that's safer. Additionally, it will always be in the hands of the drinker. And so nothing can be added, including drugs or adulterants. They're also not passing germs. So I can get behind those things. But I think overall, the balance is that it's promoting binge drinking. Dr. Hilmer, thank you for joining us this My morning. My pleasure. Very thank you so much for having me. Hope yeah. you have a good rest of your morning. And we'll have this full interview on our website, foxnews.com. We're back more Fox News in the morning at 8 in minutes.